we're happy to have you here tonight. We're glad to see such a great crowd, even though I know the big game is going on tonight. Um, thank you, parents, so much. This group of kids has been so much fun, and I think it's going to show in their performance tonight, and so I really hope you enjoy it. A couple of things before we start tonight. First of all, I want to make sure you turn off any phones or anything that makes noise for me, please. And um, refrain from using it during the show. It can be a real distraction to other people sitting next to you as well as the kids on stage. Also, I'm going to ask that you take no flash photography. I don't know if you've ever been in a show, but if you have and the snap goes off, boy, is that distracting, okay? And so we ask it more for the safety of the actors that you not take any flash pictures during the show. I promise as soon as it's over, we will open the curtain back up. All the kids will be on stage and we'll take as many pictures as you want. So. Also, um, be cautious of posting things on YouTube. There are some copyright issues with the show that we do, and it would be best if you not post anything on YouTube. Facebook's a little different story, and you just gotta be careful. You know, I don't know that I would like you posting my kid on Facebook, so just think about that, you know, before you post uh, something. Tonight, before we start, I just wanna say special dedication to Mr. Ron Joyner. Mr. Eric Joyner's uh, backstage with us tonight. He works at the, uh, the middle school, but he has helped me for the last 15 years with his show, or 13, I forget how many now. And uh, his parents were very faithful followers of this musical. And every year I could count on seeing their faces. And unfortunately, Eric's father passed away a couple months ago, and he's going to be missed tonight. And so I'll just ask that we say a little thoughtful prayer for him tonight, and thank Eric for still doing the show despite some past months being pretty tough. And so we dedicate this to Mr. Bloom.
1960s was a time of great social change, and it seemed every crusade had its own slogan. Sounds like you made, baby! Don't trust anyone over 30! Hippie power! Flower power! We shall overcome! Take a hippie to lunch. <laughs> <laughs> Peace and brotherly love was the message of the day. Dig it, the 1960s was a real trip, man. And everybody sang power to the people. Pop festival or whatever it is to go on. I don't know what your father and I would say. They left 
up the farm in my care while they're taking vacations in Europe. I know that, but look what you've done with the farm. You've turned it into a circus. That's not fair, Mrs. Porter. Elmer said we could use the farm, and we haven't turned it into a circus. If it's not a circus, then it's a sideshow. Mrs. Porter, all we're trying to do is create some good vibes. Vibes? It's the age of Aquarius. Love your brother and sister. Peace. Such rubbish. No, it isn't. There's so much tension in the world. Who is the celebration will be a release? Release from what? Tension, of course. So your little music celebration is going to release the world's tension? It's an effort. Doesn't that count for something? Not as far as I'm concerned. I can't imagine your mother allowing you to do this, Muriel. I'll have a few words to say to her. Music, beats, and flowers is a return to nature. Sort of. This apple farm doesn't need to return to nature. It is nature. If these young people want a rock concert, let them go to Centerville. They understand there's going to be a big one there. The tickets are expensive. Way too expensive. Most kids can't even afford them. Fire doesn't cost anything, unless you want to make donations. Young people are actually living in the fields, watching in the stream, and sitting under the stars. Only until the celebration's over tonight. I don't care if it's one more second. I'm certain it's illegal. Love. What, what's this? It's a flower, Mrs. Porter. Flower powder. I don't want a flower. Take it back. Love. I don't want any flowers. Stay with me.
immediately wants to prevent some other group of youngsters from putting on another concert next week. Who gave them a license? License? You kids do have a license, don't you? Uh, sure, sure. I guess I'd better see it.
and pow! Thank you, Slash Butler. Your night and shining done. Very clever, London Bugs. That was just a sample. Wait till you hear us tonight. We'll make the Beatles sound like Lord Swell. Any class, please, Margaret? No, just the usual. Subtotes, I put the bugs right here and there. Hang nails. I wish so many new characters would wear open toed shoes, but the invitation is trouble. We need to be protected. Remember, do not eat the apples. I can't help but thinking about something. What's that, Mr. John? There'll never be another music piece than flowers. I mean, something like this celebration yeah. can't happen again. If it did, it just wouldn't be the same. That's certainly something to think about, Mr. John. By the way, do you have a bandage? No, not on me. I cut my thumb on a tambourine. Come over to the medical tent. I'll perform major surgery. Will it hurt? Only if you jump around the nail. I'm sensitive to pain. I don't know what I'll do. I'll meditate. Groovy! Never see off the night skin. But these little bogies in the ears. <laughs> Hi, kids. Hi, Joyce. Meet the local press. You're the money box. Yeah, you can see the trio. I'm Andy. I'm Hi, Iris. I want to do a big article on music beats and flowers. Respect 
have the right to protest, Mrs. Porter. You know, freedom of speech and all. But why exactly do you want to stop losing people flowers? I already told you. Young people nowadays don't respect their elders. That's why this country is falling apart. We're going to share with them. Feelings rotten apples. A likely story. I suppose you showed me the license. Uh. Just as I thought. You don't have a license. Alice has it. Another likely story. If you keep telling lies, you'll grow a nose on someone who's Pinocchio's. If you'll excuse me, Mrs. Porter, I've got things to attend to.
I see a girl with a flute? A girl with a flute? It was a hallucination, maybe. I've been getting a lot of those lately. I think it's a lot of music. Hallucination? You mean like a mirage? Something like that. Welcome to Music, Beats, and Flowers. Enjoy yourself by the apples. I hate apples! Maybe you can help us. If I can. We're looking for three musicians. Andy, Burke, and Iris. You know, the bugs. The lemon bugs? Right. Where can we find them? I'll see what I can do. They're very busy. Yeah, yeah, it's a busy world. Here. They'll come running. Coke Route Pumpkin Recording and Concert Management. Stanley Kellogg, President. <coughs> Jackie Pierce, Vice President. You're the people that are putting on that rock concert over in Centerville. Bingo! I'm Jack and he's Stanley. I bet you'll have 10,000 people at that concert. Easy! Give them the card. Alright. Tell them I've got a limo waiting for them. Limo? You can't expect talent like that to ride in anything but a limo, can you? Guess not. It wouldn't be cool. I'll see if I can find them. You do that. Thanks. <coughs> Look at this place. Can you believe it? An apple farm? Square's cube. The lemon bump on an apple farm? I can laugh. Why don't you? Ha 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 ha. You want to find the mamas and the papas on an apple farm? Me and Jagger would see on an apple farm. My new for Dick Clark and American Bandstand. Yeah! What's that? I don't know. I'm not paid enough to mess with rotten apples. <laughs> Festival? Yeah, get as far away from it as I can. Pimmies, <laughs> <laughs> rotten apples, I'll find some way to stop this celebration. What's going on here? Who knows? That didn't take long. I didn't think it would. I'm Stanley Kellogg. I'm Jackie Pierce. Everybody knows who you are. You made some big names. Only the biggest. How's everything going over in Centerville? <laughs> Couldn't be better. Hey, I've got a proposition for you. So, I believe in messing around and wasting time. I'll come right to the point. You fired your manager last week. Smart move. He wasn't doing anything for you anymore. That's why we fired him. You guys are great, but you're not as good as you should be. How do you like coconut pumpkin? Taking on his clients. Hmm. We like it. Excellent. That's it. There's one other thing. What? We don't want you performing here today. What? what? Hear me out. You know, when we take on talent, it goes straight to the top of the charts. For starters, we'll get you on Ed Sullivan's show. That would be a gas. But why not do us now? The great concert is out in the house. The main act of center will pull it out. What a mind-blowing cow come. Moms. We want you to replace them. That's impossible. Anything is possible. Yeah, so I've heard. But we're on stage here tonight. Champagne in two places at the same time. You mean, you give up what we're offering you to perform some lousy free concert? We promise. And we never go back to the Get real, for Bob Dylan to perform on an apple farm, who jumps his airplane in such a small time stint, money isn't everything. We're doing this joy and party. I'm not offering apples. I'm offering big money. When he sound up, we go straight to the top of the charts and stay there. Think it over. There's a limousine by the side of the road in case you change your mind. You think people like us can go back on our word? We got food. Like I said, think it over. <laughs> Thanks, guys. You're good people. Music, beats, and flowers forever. Imagine the nervousness when you see me walk out for money and fame. They don't know us. I mean, what does money and fame mean to us? Phew. For a second there, I thought the number of were actually going to take fame. They never sell out. Let's celebrate. Hey, brothers and sisters, I don't hear singing. Are we here to celebrate or what?
something about it. Still a good idea. After 
tomorrow, will you miss Iris? You worry about that talk, Arthur. Don't be. Like I told Mrs. Porter, I was not hurting Iris. Iris hurting me. So don't let that bother you. You shouldn't let anything or anyone bother you. <coughs> That's what all you remember. Still, you have to think about it. Today is all we have. Live for today, the past is gone. No time to stay, must travel on. We walk the road into the wind. We may not pass this way.
primary album, Music Be the Flowers, Carry On. What about Mrs. Porter? Yeah. Mrs. Porter and Carrie heard me could sign up and down the streets. Nobody will mind. You can learn things like that. Right? Wonderful. Yeah, I'm just old Sophie. Yeah, get that out. Aren't you pleased to hear it? Yes, of course. Sure. I'll be here for the big show. Yeah. Don't worry about the lights and bells. It's taken care of. It is? Why did we get the lights and bells? Because they're going to stay down. Oh. And we've got nobody's trying to walk over. We'll have to make an announcement sooner or later. One of us might be celebrating with us. You want me to do it? No, I'm going to be an announcement. And that's where you ground the grass. Testing, testing. Uh, this is Travis Perkins over at the command tent. Uh, I have an announcement to make. Uh, as you know, Music Beats and Flowers is a celebration, so if you want to get up on stage and do your own thing, uh... What Travis is trying to say is, uh, there is one small setback. Um, what Muriel is trying to say is, uh, we don't have a license, so don't eat the apples. What we're all trying to say is that the lemon bugs... The lemon bugs? The lemon bugs will... The lemon bugs will what? We're back. back. We're back. That's what we thought. We know what we thought. We were going to do it too. But pushing the shelves, we couldn't. We got through one. What are they talking about? Looks like everything turned out just the way it should. 